Do you want to dip your toe into the waters of the most vicious fish in the world? Well, I hope you're prepared to lose that toe. How much damage can a piranha's bite do? How do they manage to get their fill during a feeding frenzy? And what shouldn't you do if you find yourself near piranha-infested waters? The power of South America's red-bellied piranha lies in their bite. That's one underbite you shouldn't underestimate. The gigantic muscles that wrap around their head and connect to their jaw give them immense strength. And my, what big teeth they have! Their teeth interlock in the same way as sharks do, and they are razor sharp. Ouch! The red-bellied piranha wins the top prize for the sharpest teeth and the strongest bite out of the entire piranha family. One chomp could take your toe off. If you want to keep all your appendages attached to your body, I suggest you avoid splashing in the water since the sound can attract fish ready to feast. Also, be mindful of where piranhas spawn and breed. They are very protective of their young. Attacks, especially deadly ones, are rare, but they've increased over the years. As more waterways are dammed, the fish are attracted to calmer waters frequented by people. It's these still waters that make for ideal mating grounds. What you need to worry about most are your legs and feet. Most of the time, it only takes one chomp for a person to get the message to vacate the area. With a few stitches and some gauze, you'd most likely survive relatively unscathed. What you want to remember is these piranhas are social animals that swim in packs or shoals. The older, more vulnerable fish are on the inside, while the younger, stronger fish keep them protected. For the most part, they scavenge rather than kill. They feed on the leftovers of other animals and tend to eat fish smaller than them. If they're feeling ambitious, Piranhas might go for large mammals like a capybara that is sick or injured. When they go in for the kill, they'll target the eyes and tail to immobilize their dinner. Hunting parties can include up to 100 fish. If one fish finds potential prey, it alerts the others with a call, almost like a bark. Let the frenzy begin. Piranhas have awful manners. They don't chew their food. They rip the flesh off their prey and swallow their bite whole. They're able to strip their meal to the bone, with not a morsel going to waste. During a feeding frenzy, piranhas are always rotating and moving. They trade places so that everyone can get their fair share. They move so quickly that it can look like the water is boiling. Experts say it would take five minutes for 500 piranhas to rip a person to shreds. And before you decide to literally never swim again out of fear of becoming the main course, we can assure you this scenario is simply hypothetical, we think. Feeding frenzies usually happen when the piranhas are absolutely starving. Otherwise, they can be just as happy eating plants or other vegetation. Seems a lot less gruesome. But people have died from accidental encounters. In one heartbreaking case, a six-year-old girl was unable to recover from her injuries after her family's canoe capsized in piranha-infested waters. There's another fish out there with a remarkable set of chompers, but fortunately, this one won't bite off your toe. You can learn more in our video all about the sheep's head fish. Indulging their ravenous appetites with occasional bursts of violence is what red-bellied piranhas do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures.